personal fireworks this 4th of July. Yeah, they're banning them. Brian Brennan is live at a fireworks stand outside Vancouver. And Brian, the owner there, thinks this might actually be good for his business. Yeah, that's right. He's not worried at all. He thinks the only effect the ban will have is people will just have to drive a little bit further to find their fireworks. But the people who do that could face serious fines if they do that in Vancouver. The United States is about to have another birthday and Vancouver is planning on celebrating quietly. Yeah, it's kind of ironic that we're celebrating our, our freedoms and, and things like that and then they're taking them away from us. Gene Marlowe, owner of Mean Gene Fireworks outside Vancouver, says he doesn't think the city's ban will stop people from buying, but he is annoyed at the new law. It does not reflect what the majority of the citizens want. So we're hopeful this year people will adhere to that new law. Vancouver um, Fire Marshal Heidi Scapelli says the complete ban on the sale and use of fireworks within city limits was a necessity. And the more urban we become, the more populated we become, it is just too much risk for a community to risk these types of devices coming into the city. She says fireworks have been proven to increase the fire danger, are a noise nuisance, and scare pets into running away. The new law will be enforced with zero tolerance with a minimum $500 fine. Yes, we have um, a conglomerate of deputy fire marshals and fire code officers going out um, during the fireworks season. People we talk to who live in Vancouver say they think a few irresponsible people ruin things for everyone else. If people would stop doing that, I think we'd have a better chance of it just being legal. Marlo says he thinks this holiday will sound just like last year's, despite the ban. From past experience, when cities have banned, it just forces people to go other places to get them. Back live now, here's a map of when and where you can use fireworks. Vancouver, of course, is a complete ban, but the law loosens up a little as you go into Clark County. They are legal in Camas on July 3rd and 4th, Washugo on the 4th, and you can use them for about a week starting June 28th, once you are north of Northeast 219th Street. If you'd like to see that map again, it is on our website. Back to you. Good. I'm glad